So this is criminal justice two, which means all of these students have already had criminal justice one, which is all of our constitutional law amendments, um, the legal system, and now they're ready for investigations. So criminal justice two is all about um, how to respond to a crime scene, how to investigate, how to collect evidence. So right now they're working with fingerprints and how to collect fingerprints at a crime scene, how to preserve them for court. Um, after this, they'll move into DNA, how to collect DNA samples and preserve them as well. And then they get to responding to a crime scene, searching, measuring, um, collecting evidence, how to recreate a crime scene for court, and all the different components that you see on CSI. fingerprints they're invisible we can sort of see your fingertips just the residual oils and things like that so if we wanted to process them with super glue okay regular household super glue if we just squeeze super glue on it what would happen mess it up. it's gonna mess it up right so we have to turn the super glue into fumes into a gas so if we take the super glue Squeeze it into our little tin. Put the tin on a coffee cup warmer. Okay, that's gonna heat it up for us. And then we're gonna take our card, stand it over in the corner. And put the lid on our fuming chamber. Okay, so as the coffee cup warmer heats up, all the fumes are gonna float around and stick to the card. And just like on the magic of the baking channel, our prints are done, right? You put one casserole in, then you pull the done one out on the other side. We're fancy like that. So there's your prints. Super glue fuming makes what kind of prints? Temporary or permanent? Permanent. Permanent, just like super glue would, right? It's gonna stay forever and ever. So we can rub our fingers across it. It's not gonna disappear, okay? So take a look at those.
magnetic fingerprint powder to detect latent fingerprints, invisible fingerprints, and make them appear on the plate. So as they're processing the magnetic powder across, the fingerprints start to appear, and then they develop them just like you would develop film from a camera, and the fingerprint slowly starts to appear until they can see the ridges, and when it gets clear enough, then Callie would lift it with her lifter, So if you open up the lifter, peel the sticky part off. As you stick it down onto the edge of the print, smooth it out so there's no bubbles. Now that it's down on the print, it's completely safe. You can push it around, move it. It's not going to mess up the print. And then once you peel it off, the fingerprint is on your tab. There you go. Yeah. So now your print is sealed in there and you can stick it to a piece of paper. And do the same thing, smooth it out. And now you can identify your print and send it off to the lab or whatever you need to do with it. Good job.